Early on, Squawk on the Street, the Toll Brothers CEO, Doug Yearly, said he was not expecting results to be as strong as they were, given that jump in mortgage rates that Diana just talked about. And here's what he said about demand. So I'm really surprised that in the 6 to 7 percent range, we have as much activity as we do. So, boy, you bring it down into the fives, and you're going to have more people that say, I don't need to hang on to this three and a half. For more on rising rates in the state of housing, let's bring in Bill Pulte, CEO of Pulte Capital Partners, private equity firm focused exclusively on building products. Bill, welcome. Good to have you with us. How, how Good to you, see you, Tyler. How do you, you react to uh, what Mr. Yearly just said, and that is, boy, if rates were to come down, we would see activity spike. I think he's right, and I think a lot of people are thinking, well, interest rates have gone up so much, uh, that has to be bad for home builders. And I think what's interesting, Tyler, is you've actually seen the opposite of that, meaning the biggest competitor to home builders is existing home sales. In other words, old homes. So, New homes compete with old homes. And when the old homes, Tyler, have these low mortgage rates of two, three, four percent, um, you know, people do not want to sell their homes. And so what do they have to buy? You have to buy a new home. And that's really what's happening, Tyler, I think, in terms of why the builders are so strong right now. You see the market in, in a kind of, I, I mean, when one of those existing homes or, or pre-owned pre homes comes on the market, in the neighborhoods that I'm familiar with in this metro, they are going very, very fast, despite those higher rates in the sixes. Correct. And, and frankly, it's because in some cases those homes cost less money. And so uh, if, if it was a competitive environment and you had a lot of those homes on the market, these new home builders wouldn't be selling a lot of homes. Mm -hmm. But with such tight supply, just as a function of people not wanting to get out of their homes. And then you have this zoning problem, too, Tyler, where the builders are kind of restricted on what they can build. So it's kind of a double whammy, and it's created a really, really good environment for the home building stocks. And, Bill, you guys focus a lot on kind of uh, building products and what goes into the whole suite. So we've seen this split where those involved in, in some new home construction, some of the stocks are doing okay this year. Um, others where it's more about just housing a turnover more broadly are struggling, and Home Depot, I think, might still be in the red. Where do you see the best opportunities right now? Frankly, I think that the home builders are the best opportunity. And I know it might sound biased because our family founded Pulte Group, and I'm a former director of Pulte Group, right. uh, but I'm no longer with the business. But I'll tell you, you know, the, the dynamic that's being set up right now, Kelly, where the big competitor to home builders is the existing home sale mar market, the Federal Reserve, Kelly, has basically uh, allowed the home builders now to have no competition with the existing, with the old housing stock. And that really creates a great runway for home builders. So I think you're going to see a little bit of deterioration in earnings on a year-over-year -year basis, but you're looking at a pretty strong housing market. When you get rates up at 7% on the 30-year fix, what does that do? And, or, and at what point uh, does, do, do the buyers basically just sort of say, uncle, I give in, I'm tapped out? It's, it's a great question. I think a lot of people in home building are trying to figure that out right now. I think Basically, the consensus is if you start to see job claims tick up, that's mm -hmm. when you're probably going to see, Tyler, these interest rates really matter. But for right now, again, because so many people are locked in these homes that the Federal Reserve basically created at these low interest rates, uh, people have to buy these homes. And right now, there's only so many of them.